you must to know the mortgage negotiation fundamental because this will bring to you the view about how the mortgage works at the beginning till the end okay so please watch this video if you are interested in a mortgage or if you need to make a credit in your life because this is the fundamental Hi everyone, my name is Marco Gilardi and I am the expert mortgage negotiator. I help hundreds of people with their mortgage to decrease the cost of the mortgage in their life. Because yes, the mortgage takes one life sometimes, 20, 30, 40 years. And if you know at least one little part, which is the begin but the fundamental, will help you to better understand and to better negotiate your mortgage. Look, the bank is not providing the mortgage to everyone. You know very well that. And with the video of today, I'm going to share a few rules I would like you to know. Surely I cannot enter in detail, otherwise I can talk till next year. Believe me, this is my field. First point, you need to understand that is for the bank you must be an asset. So first of all, the bank has to recognize you as an asset. How does it work? The bank has money and need to uh, use this money to create other assets. Okay. And one of these is the business of the mortgage. So it's not only that, but why? Because they cannot release mortgage to everyone. Why? Because in their plan, in their business plan, they have yearly, for instance, uh, they have a, a scope okay, to reach. For instance, it can be 1,000 people and uh, they can decide the criteria of this scope. Okay? For instance, um, a certain level of risk. Okay? So for instance, 1,001 person they will not take because it may be too much risk. Okay? So we have the scope of 1,000 people with a certain amount. Okay? And there is a certain risk. This is just uh, one easy example, okay, for you to understand. Once the bank reached these 1,000 people with the relation in their uh, money, which are used as a set, for instance, so also considering the risk, no? For instance, if I give to 2,000 people, I will have much risk. Maybe they cannot pay, you know, and, that, and after how the bank can cover these expenses, right? So, in this case, once uh, we have reached the, the scope of 1,000 person, for instance, 1,000 people, uh, the bank can stop this business. Therefore, maybe your colleague apply just before the new, uh, and then when you apply, you overpass the scope of the bank, then the bank will not release you any mortgage, even if you are a good, um, a good asset for the bank, okay? Sometimes there can be some exception, but normally when, um, when they reach the scope, they, uh, they stop, they decrease this business, or they increase a lot of the interest, okay? So that's, that's the, 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 the goal, to, for you to understand how it works in the bank, okay? Because what? Uh, if you are really big, a good asset, then they can change their mind, okay? But if you are average, like as other, they take their range and then stop. They decrease. Then maybe you have to wait in the next phase. That's why sometimes with the same, uh, some bank at the beginning they say no and after they change mind because it changed the policy. And this time they reset another range of a set and they need to, uh, to reach another scope. And so you will be probably one of the first they will take you. Okay. So that's, that's a bit how it works. So don't worry if sometime is not sometime because of your salary, it's not sometime really strict. Normally, yes, most of cases like this, but it's not always like this, okay? So if your colleagues, which have your, the same scenario, the same family, the same work, the same uh, salary, the same car, the same house, and they give to him, uh, they release the, the, the mortgage and not to you, that can be the difference, just a range. They were in the first range and you are waiting now the new policy in the bank. Can be, it really impact less these things, but it can be, it can be, okay. That the bank don't want to take further risk, okay. This is first things. So the first things is that you must to be a good asset and you have to enter in the policy of the bank. That's what the first explanation. Now, if you pass the step that the bank 
want to work with you so you are a good asset for the bank and furthermore in a good period means you are in the scope of the bank so they are ready to work with you because they have to reach their scope and you are a good asset so in this case the bank will go further with you but in this case we have to really care about the interest the bank will ask you okay how much will cost for you this mortgage okay so you are sure that the bank more or less won't work with you okay and this is a good point but attention no need to sign immediately okay because now you are uh, the power at your side you know the bank want to work with you they already spend some money some time to to assist you know the employee that work in this time at the bank side and speak with you is another asset they pay this man or woman to what to get money from you okay so to try to uh, have the good relation between catch the customer that you will not run with another bank but at the highest interest rate so you, you see how many uh, assets as a company or in this case a bank so take care about this because it's very important that now you have the power okay the bank want to work with you you are sure of, about that you are a good asset so go to speak with the other bank because if you consider, for instance, in Luxembourg is really is normal things to have uh, to ask for to ask for a mortgage of uh, one million, for instance, okay, for apartment of, for home. This one million as a mortgage uh, in in thirty years at three percent of interest T A E G, it will be it will be interest the total interest it will be. 500,000 okay so it's like you go around with other bank telling that look this is the amount that one bank proposed me okay maybe someone else want only uh, 160,000 okay but it's good 160,000 you are going around to offer 160,000 how 160,000 if another bank for instance for 1 million of mortgage propose you 1% yes that's what you are going to save. 340,000 you are going to save in this case. If you can negotiate from 3% TAEG to 1% TAEG. So this is very important to negotiate. Okay, it's the fundamental this part. It's the fundamental. So once one bank wants to work with you, take your time, don't sign anything and evaluate that in this case, in 30 years, you can provide 160,000, so decreasing from 3 to 1% your interest, and you can give this money to another bank. What does it mean? You are the seller, not the bank. That's the key point you must understand, that people don't know about that, they are not aware about this. Once you are the seller, you can say, hey, what you offer to me for 160,000? You are selling your, your money. You understand? You are selling your money to have the money from them in 30 years, for instance. This is very important. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me, to check my contact and to uh, write down your comment. What is your opinion about that? We can discuss constructively about this. And even you can go to check all my other videos which I have done concerning the mortgage. Okay, there are many videos interesting about that and I will continue to create the video for you, for your benefit, for your understanding. Because today the, the problem is that in the school they don't teach us about this aspect and we need to study by ourselves. And I'm here today to share with you, with my channel, uh, with my videos, all what you can need to better negotiate your mortgage and today we start with the fundamental which is very important so summarizing you must be first point you must be an asset a good asset for the bank you have to enter in the uh, bank policy so in the scope in this period of the bank okay so in terms of risk in terms of many other things in terms of period because if there is a crisis around for instance the bank can be in protection mode or can be aggressive it depends on which crisis okay so it's very important for you that you enter in this uh, good asset this is the starting point to have a good asset for sure you need to really care about your expenses okay during uh, the period especially before the mortgage okay after that 
you are the power now you have the power now and if you have the power you can start to negotiate okay because the bank want the money the interest we start with 1 million and there is in the middle 500,000 okay and you can say sorry why I have to give to you 500,000 if another bank can give me less so this is your 3% there 2% 4% goodbye 1% oh yeah, 1% is good 1% hey with 1% you save 340,000 340,000 that you can use for your children, for your spouse, with, for your house, for your parent, your family, everyone you love, for your time, for yourself. You know which car you can buy with 340,000. I mean, come on. It's just negotiation. The fundamental of negotiation, this, thing, this, this one. It's just negotiation, fundamental. Okay. So you are able to negotiate, to take back the control of your life. And like this, you will be able to use and save the money to use for yourself instead of release to the bank. Because the sale is you. You are the seller now. You have this money. The interest is your money in 30 years. Okay, so take care because it will impact a big part of your life, the credit. Okay, even for the insurance, the credit insurance. You are the boss to decide this, not the bank. Ah, no, we need this. This is a starting point criteria, but it's also, um, it's so, it's also a, a part of, uh, of, uh, of, you are going to pay too much this house with this insurance, okay? So you are the boss with your money. You decide if you want the interest rate to be paid or not. It's better sometimes to renounce to one house, to one apartment, if. It's too costly for you. So the most important thing is that you are the boss with your money, not the bank. Not the bank. Bank is there to give you a service. If you accept with your money in 30 years to pay them instead of your family. So what is my suggestion is that even for the insurance, you are the boss to decide that. You understand? So save as much as you can this morning to use for your family, for the person you love, for yourself. Give a big gift to you and your spouse, okay? To your children, protect your child with this, with this money. And therefore, take care about that because this is the fundamental and take back the control of your life.